In this tutorial, I will show you how I configure my Homestead machine before starting any new project and how I set up my homestead.yml file to get that project running on the VM. Now, I have already installed Homestead, but you can find the steps inside the setup Homestead in the Laravel docs. It's very easy to go through the steps. Only a few things which you need to make sure is you need to have the VirtualBox and Vagrant software installed on your machine. You can find the DMGs, EXEs and uh, Linux packages for that available on the internet. And once that is done, you do Vagrant Box at Laravel Homestead which will install the Vagrant Box for Homestead the VirtualBox file and once that is done you know, I have already configured it on my machine so I can show you through the VirtualBox you know, I type VirtualBox you can see I have the Homestead 7 the latest version latest version running and yeah once you know you go through those process you can pretty much run the VM now to configure the site there are three things which we need to do I have the code base inside this particular folder so what I need to do is map it to that machine now I can run the site through PHP artisan serve you know as you can see right here but I don't want that I want that these pages should be served from the virtual box homestead machine instead of running it through php artisan so let me close it and now we will start the process of setting up our homestead machine to run the code base and our site there are three steps to it let me edit my homestead.yml file i'll do nano it's inside my home dot homestead homestead yml file all right now this is my existing configuration file and i'll add my new configurations to show you how things can be done let me add one line and now i'll write map and this is where i'll put my code base path this is the path where the files are present on the laptop not the uh, what do you call the VM but the actual machine okay so map the actual and then to the path on the virtual machine so it's going to be home vagrant code stories okay so this folder is mapped to my virtual machines vagrant code stories folder this is the first part then the next thing is creating the vhost or the host configuration so that when i do something like you know map um, let's say stories stories dot app it should point to i can copy this paste it here and so rest of the things are right if you see here I am including the public folder because the index.php is inside the public folder and so basically whenever stories.app request is sent to my VM engines should forward it to this particular folder okay and the last piece is basically to add the database let me come here add one line and let us name our database as stories all right i'll save my file now control o is the shortcut to do that all right and now let's exit so the homestead file configuration is done now we need to go inside the git repository where i have downloaded the homestead code base it's inside my home homestead and if you see in the docs there is 
a requirement to clone the github repository which is this you can go to that repo and you can see there are some files which are required to run certain command commands on the homestead machine so I have done that checkout on home slash homestead folder so I'll go into that and you can see these are the files and I can run certain commands here like vagrant and it gives me a list of all the commands which I can fire I can write vagrant status which will give me the current status of the machine if it says VM is running okay now what I need to do I don't need to do halt or anything I'll just say reload what it does is you can see restarts the machine and loads the vagrant configuration file so let me hit reload okay so the reload configuration script has succeeded and now it's time to check whether things are working correctly or not I can SSH into the machine using this command SSH vagrant at 127.0.0.1 with port 222 but I have a shortcut which is VM which I have configured in my dash sorry dot bash underscore profile so with that let's go into our code folder you can see all the files are present here which means the mapping is correct now let me run the mysql command and see okay it's not here okay I think I have to type it out anyways so mysql dash u root password is secret for homestead now show databases and I have the folder sorry the database here which means the last part is also working sorry not the last part um, the next thing is basically to check if the site configuration worked now I haven't configured my vhost file so if I do stories.app it's not going to take me anywhere and the reason is my machine doesn't know that I need to redirect it to an IP so let us edit the etc slash host file so I'll type my password and now I'm here you can see I have three configurations I'm not using the deal so I will edit it and I'll say stories so basically I'm telling that any stories dot app request should point to this IP which is 192 168 10.10 .10. this okay so with the host file ready I can save my file and write out now you may have to reload the tab or sometimes even we have to close the browser in order to get the updated host configuration so I'll close my chrome run it again and this time I'm saying stories.app and yes it is loading the correct page now to confirm that we are loading the correct code base let's go to document demo stories this is where the code base is I'll go to my routes file change this line just to check that you now this is the correct thing nothing else hit refresh one two three four which means it is correct so this is how we can configure homestead you know spend some time learn it because it takes away a lot of headache from your development because everything is configured and you will love using homestead